All right. Uh, this morning I finally received, or actually yesterday, I finally received the belts for this thing. Um, I ordered them, oh, I want to say uh, about a month and a half ago. And uh, they must have shipped on a container ship or something. Anyways, they arrived yesterday. <clears throat> and uh, just before starting this video, I did some work on mounting the clock. Uh, I was trying to find a replacement for this and really haven't had any luck. Uh, I did find two clocks with Futaba uh, displays in them that were good, but they were the wrong size. They were too big. Uh, so they wouldn't fit because the pins are too far apart. Um, so I went ahead and I mounted, let's see if I can zoom in here. I put a piece, a block of wood in here and I hot glued that in place and then hot glued this in here. The idea is that if I find a display I can remove all this and uh, put the clock back to the way it was and so the display looks like looks like that so it looks okay so this morning the first thing I gotta do is get the uh, get the belts on this thing and I ordered a, ser a bunch of belts they're all different sizes so I just kind of have to fit them on and uh, so what I've got is I brought out several sizes. We're going to go with what look like the largest ones. See how those fit. Uh, the belts on this, as best I can measure, are point seven millimeter. I don't know if they were originally a uh, metric. Um, but it's hard to find belts with uh, okay so this one's way too loose. So let's go with the smaller one. Finding belts for this was very difficult because of how belts are measured. Um, different manufacturers. measured them different ways. Some wanted the length of the belt if it was cut. Some wanted half that length. <clears throat> Some wanted the diameter of the belt. Uh, it was very annoying. Now the other belts so probably we'll just go with the start with the smaller one. Um, the belts, as I measured, <clears throat> as I measured them, were uh, for the big belt, which is a one millimeter square belt. The, the smaller one is the 
millimeter. Um, well, these are still too big. So let me pause the video and go get the rest of the belts. All right. I've got the rest of the belts. I just brought them all out. And So, this one is still too big. Let's try this one. Sizing the belts is, like I said, difficult. The, uh, I tried different methods and even uh, taking a piece of wire and stringing it around the uh, the belt and And then you're supposed to, depending on who you talk to, take off as much as 5% of the, uh, the size of the belt. And, but the problem is that uh, it's just an inexact science. It really would be nice if I could get the uh, service manual for this, but fat chance of that. Um, GE probably wouldn't let, wouldn't have it, or wouldn't give it to me if they did. All right, that looks about right. It's it's not bowed. It's not overly stretched. I think that one's good. Now for this other one. So I think we tried that one and it didn't fit. So let's find one that's smaller. in the belt. Turn that on. I'll turn the volume down because I don't want a content strike. And so this is supposed to play.
Okay, it's working. I can't really play it very loud because uh, I don't want a content strike. So, uh, the next step is going to be um, I gotta put all this back together. I'm gonna do some lubing, lubrication on it. I'm not gonna film it. If you wanna watch someone take apart something over a very long period of time, uh, you can watch 12 volt vids. Um, so I will get this part back together and get everything ready, and then the next part that I will do is the holes for these switches and we'll see about covering up this and then buttoning the whole thing up. We're back in a few minutes. Okay, so I got this back together. Um, it's a bit like a puzzle. You basically have to have the whole thing free and then you put this piece in and you kind of fit this piece in at the same time until these holes line up and then you can screw down these holes and you can screw down the two holes back here and then screw down these and then and then it works uh, what I did on here is I just hot glued a piece of cardboard over the display so you, it won't be seen from behind and the next thing to do is going to be to put a couple of holes somewhere on this so that I can have the, uh, the buttons to set it and Let's see here. So this will go like this. And then we've got it, we can reach back as far as that. And it's like here. So I'm gonna. Th I think I'm gonna put the two buttons on this side, just in here. It's gonna be kind of tricky to get those in there. I'm gonna have to do a lot of measuring and do some drilling. And I don't. I'm not gonna bother putting that. Um, so I will come back in a little bit. Okay, I gotta be kind of gentle with this. Uh, I mounted the two buttons in here. Uh, I used a, a drill gauge yep, a drill gauge to get the size of the holes and carefully measured and drilled the holes so that they would both fit in here in the right place. Um, I then had to re-solder one of the connectors on here because in all the rough housing it had uh, come loose, but it's ready to go back together. I just have to be very careful about putting it back together. the case a little bit. Yep, I'm gonna have to do a modification to the case. This piece right here, oh, can't see it. This piece right here is in the way. It's 
meant to push the clock up against that, but it's it's getting in the way, so it's got to go. Um, so I'm gonna have to do all that and be back. So it's back together. Had to take it apart and put it back together a couple of times because the solder job for the switch on the cloth kept breaking. Finally got it soldered correctly and um, I secured the wires with some hot glue. Uh, this thing is a bear to put back together because it, it once again it goes together like a puzzle. Um, you can't just put the face plate on and then put the back plate on. You have to kind of put them on together and because this locks underneath here whoops let's go back here because this locks underneath here and this locks on the bottom here and um, then I had to at every step that I put this thing together I had to test that the uh, display was working and the buttons were working. And they are. So I'm not going to mess with it. That's one reason I didn't show being put together because I had to do this two or three times. It's also, I had to, I put a screw in the, one of the boards in here and then found out that this screw is supposed to go in its place, but to your, to your point, Myron, I think it's very it accurate works. about what you said about Patriots. You know, Matt Patricia came to Detroit and tried to beat so, Belichick, right? Yeah. The one guy who really they're taking out their fees, their markups, and they're kind of giving you what's left. But again, there it is. It's working. What a pain. Later.